Uh, yes, as Christina says, any of your islands that are published uh, on live in Alpha 8 right now uh, will get saved. You just need to make sure you, you publish them. Now, I did make a video on uh, how to publish your island, so do check that out if you have any questions about how to do it and what you need to do. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, this, this, yeah, these are the new uh, kind of items you get. You know, previously we have like emblems, seals, runes and stuff. Well, now you have essences, and this is what it looks like. Uh, still pressing shift to run. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're just chilling. Oh, thank you. I need that. Oh. Oh, hey. No, please don't hit me. Oh, because... So, you may notice that the, uh, the old... Oh, yeah, I'll take those. The old enemies are a bit more aggressive now. Just a little bit. Unless you stood on a crate. Unless you stood on a crate. Okay, let's see if we can get to another one, because I don't want my power attack to uh, decay too fast. Oh, come on. You! Look! Swipe! 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 Power attack! Oh. Yeah. There's something really satisfying about that. Uh, if 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 it was up to me, Walkalak, I would have. Oh, you know what? If we're gonna get to the end, we can just uh, kind of run past these guys. Oh, I'll take you though. Logs, yes please. Hey, logs. Oh, set checkpoint. Checkpoint set. Go to the end chamber. All right. So this bus here. Oh, okay. You're all glowy and scary. Right, so oh, if we click that, we can see that the loot we'd normally get, which is in there, uh, just just comes out as normal. That's all it is. So the loot, you know, you'll get gear and stuff. Oh, okay, we need to thin the herd. We need to thin the herd. All right, power attack. Wow, that was good. Fortunately, ah, ah. Oh, good lord. All right, we need to deal with you, man. This. Boss fights are a lot easier without a, a stamina bar, guys. A lot easier. Plus, we got this power attack. Oh, no, no! I had a power attack and then I got hit. Alright, no, please stop hitting me. Well, I get a power attack. Huh? Okay. Oh, no! Oh, I got hit. Alright, let's try again. But notice that this boss, who is a an outlaw. Ow, ow, ow! Okay, I need to know. Not do that. Ooh, okay, we got a new sword. Got a new sword. Okay. So we got a new sword, which is a heroic forest sword. But notice that it's not it's like 3% durability or something. It's, you know, a, a, a good durability. So what do we get from this, actually? Um, well, of course, we're in like the, you know, a heroic, so that's, you know, the easiest version. So there was nothing hugely impressive, but we did get some useful things like plates. Yeah, we've got useful things, actually. That will actually help us create better armor and stuff. Alright, so... We need to go to one on... Go on two different adventures and learn about metals. Alright, so we're done here. So we'll head back to the city first light and we'll see what else we can find. Have you, you guys have seen Lumo Stone already, so I don't think I need to show you that just yet, right? Or do you guys want to see an, an example of Lumo Stone? Nope, oh, okay, good. <laughs> oh! That's... Look, look away! Look away! <laughs> look away! No, that's obviously something that needs to be fixed. I have no idea what that is. Oh. And... Yeah, oh, Alphanius. Uh, Alphanius? Hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, you say, Boonkin, uh, how do bows work now? Uh, pretty much the same, from what I know. She says, hey, Boom, are you going to be able... Available to a bit after the stream, or are you going to be busy? Well, I'm kind of busy, but if it's just a few minutes, it should be fine. And uh, yeah, glitch. <laughs> glitch indeed. And Small Floating Cookie said, Would be nice to see what other items you can create. All we saw was one type of gate door and a turret. Uh, well... <laughs> oh my god. I'm still pressing shift to run. So then it's just like, dodge! <laughs> dodge! Okay, well... Don't forget, just the things we've got now uh, for the Lumo Stone. I admit it's... Well, no, I don't even admit. It's, it's awesome stuff. It is. Now, 
it may not seem, because that's what I was trying to say, it may not seem like a lot, but honestly, if you can think of things to do with it, it actually opens up a lot of possibilities. I'll give give you an, an example. So you got crumbling blocks, which are, oh, sorry, crumbling stone blocks, uh, which are blocks that when you run across them, they crumble and disappear. So you can create cool little parkour puzzles using those, because it means you have to jump almost continuously or you fall. So that's just one block, and that's just one example of it. So imagine you're on like the outside of a tower, and you're running up all around the spiral of it, but you're having to constantly move, getting to safe, safe spots, because the blocks fall below. Also, and in fact, you know what, guys? If you hang on a second, I'll, I'll just demonstrate some Lumo. Would you like to see? Yeah, I think the last 10 minutes, I'll show you guys some Lumo stone. And Elias, hello, welcome to the stream. So I'll collect that. Now I'm just going to switch characters. So the screen will disappear for a second, but I'm just going to switch over to Boomkin. Um, because that way I can show you some Lumo Stone. So just hold on a second, guys. I'm going to show you Lumo Stone. And I want to show you specifically... Uh, how, <laughs> don't worry, I'm, it's coming back. It's coming back. I want to show you specifically how it works. But I need to switch accounts. That's all it is. It's not offline. I'm here. Look, I'm here. I'm waving. It's <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. I'm literally just swapping accounts. That's all it is. I'm just swapping accounts. Da 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 da. Still here? Look at me. Da 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 da. All right, let's load again. Launch. There we go. Now I'm doing this because on that account, the how-to video, it doesn't have any Lumo Stone, but on this one, Boomkin, it does. Oh, notice the uh, a new loading screen. That's pretty nif nifty. Oh. Don't worry, I, it is here. It's just because it was a crashed airship, that's all. But you can see me in the corner. Nah. Right, okay, so here I am. On my own. Again, <laughs> with a chicken hat. Okay, so I've got a flying... All right, now I'll show you... Like, a, a few things that you can do. So I'll get rid of all that stuff, but this. Okay, so, you got spike traps. Which are pretty cool. Now you may notice that these ones were on the wall. That's... That's on purpose, because you can put it on the floor, put it on the wall. I don't know what happens when you put it on the ceiling, actually. I didn't try it. So, yeah, you can put it on the ceiling as well. So you don't need, like, four different, like, kind of designs or recipes or anything. You can literally just pick it up and place it like that. And it's the same with spring traps. So we've taken a pre-existing thing, like spring trap, and we've changed it a bit. Now, I can't craft one just yet, because uh, reasons reasons. Uh, but you can see what, you, what we did there with the spike pits. So the spike pits you can literally just put on the floor, on the ceiling, or whatever. There we go. So imagine, right, with the ability to place spike, little spike pits. Sorry, spike. Okay, let me get the exact name, name of this. Spike, spike trap, sorry. So why I keep calling it spike pits? I'm used to spikes being pits, I guess. But imagine, right, having these all along a corridor, or in a maze, right? You have a literal maze of spike traps where you have to be really careful where you walk through. That is a difficult, that is a difficult maze right there. So there's lots that you can do with just something like this. And it's literally up to your imagination, your creativity. We're giving you these tools to do whatever you want to do. So for example, uh, yesterday you may have seen that the 25th of Org was released. And that's because um, it's this, I'll just show you this, it's fine. So it's this. So what I've done here is, I can just fly over, is I put in these delays here in the shape of a two and a five and an org. So then if I stand upon the pole, these will light up, which doesn't do much unless I hold both the one, the Luma ones, at which point you can see all the connections and it lights up. Right, and that's pretty cool for like, I don't know, it, it's just cool. Now on published islands you won't see any of those streams, sorry, yeah, Luma streams. And on the same way that if you notice that these, uh, sorry, this, this actually is not connected to that. You can't see that, but it is because it's actually connected on the other side of the wall. And what I've done is this, is I've created a little Luma webs. It's what we call the uh, systems as Luma webs. So you have this, which is connected to that, although you can't see this stream for some reason. And each of these is connected to the uh, delay on the other side. And you can hear me like picking up the, uh, the little little streams there, and yeah, it's, it's a small bug stream. It's not that big a deal. Yeah, it'll get fixed. Uh, probably before it goes live. 
So you got all these which are connected to the delays. Which is pretty cool. Like Oh. See that's that's just like an example. Now I'll give you another example. And I'll go to the, and this island is something I'm I'm working on building. Uh, for for a fairly big project uh, with the help of some VIPs and I'll give you an example of just simply using the pressure plates and the gates uh, as an example okay so this this island will eventually be like a huge big big island of coolness uh, as you can see I've done like some a fair bit of work to create like four different areas and the idea behind this is that you each one will be walled off unless you go through gates so to get through a gate you walk on it and you walk on through. All right, and then it'll close after six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. And then of course I've linked this one up to it. Oh sorry, I've linked it to a delay to the gate. And I've obviously I've linked this pressure plate uh, to this delay to this lumen gate. And I've done that in both ways so you can get in and out. Now, the interesting thing is what does this look like on a published island? Let's have a look. Just simply have a look. It's right there. I've already made it public. I know this is on the QA server, so you can't see it yet. But this island, I'm, yeah, hopefully gonna drag over to live so you can see all the cool things. But I have many plans for Lumo stuff. So notice, obviously, I can't fly. But more importantly, you can't see the delays. So you can't see the Lumo delays or or the and or not gates. I'm not sure about those, but I'm pretty sure you can't. But if I step on it, it just opens up automatically. Like, like nothing's there. If I hold my wands, I can't see anything. Nothing is there. So it's just, you know, that's what you see. You just see the, almost like the, you know, the input, if you will, and then obviously the output of the gate opening. Step on, well, obviously once you've linked them all together, it doesn't automatically do that, but because I've linked them that way, that's how that works. Now, Give you another example of what you can do with a Lumo Stone. Is you know, no, may have noticed that where the gate go? Shush, pipe Scott. Shush. <laughs> None of your jib. So you may have noticed that there's a, there's dart turrets. So there's oh, uh, oh oh I came back here. Did not mean to go there. So there's dart turrets. So one of the things I want to do, and I don't mind telling you this idea, is because it will give you, I know, some inspiration on what to do. So, oh, um, oh, the theory. Hello, welcome, the theory. Uh, I would say scout, but no. Nah. <laughs> so here we see uh, these these platforms. Uh, sorry, these dart turrets are firing away. So imagine if there was like an entire wall of these dart turrets, like like literally this this whole wall like out here was just dart turrets, just constantly firing, constantly firing. And what you had to do was get to Kind of there. In fact, how many how many dart turrets can I make? How many do I have? I can make loads. All right, I'll make some dart turrets just to give you an example. So yeah, I'll make these out of red, and then I guess I'll use you. Okay. So imagine while they're crafting up, uh, these these are constantly firing, and what you've got to do to turn them off is get it to that pressure plate. So you've got to like run past a load of dart traps that are here. I go, ah, 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 but time right to step there to then turn them off. So then you're safe to run around. And because of the delay, you'll have a few seconds to move around. Ooh. Now, there was actually a delay there, which is good. But that, that's literally just an example. Also, what if you have a door, like there's a gate here, yeah, obviously. So a gate, so that's gone. And obviously, I need to step on that to open it. And you run through, but then, oh no, there's crumbling blocks. And there's spike traps below. In this room you can't escape. Then you know you're in a you're in a bad place. You know, there's a lot you can do. In fact, I can make some crumbling blocks. No I can oh I've come back. I was on the other one. <gasps> no. Oh yeah, I have like a few more, right? Yeah, oh anyway. So there's a lot you can do. As you can see here I've linked all these up. Um, oh, also the colors are pretty much just cosmetic, right? You'll see the way that these are linked up, but it still interacts with this. And that is because basically by creating a web, it all links together. But what the colors allow you to do is kind of co coordinate your webs to how you want. So, for example, I know that this part 
is linked to these timers that goes into this. Oh, which then means that you know it won't put an output until I step on that and that. But this, this one here is also linked to these. So I could, in theory, just take oh, take that. Let me, let me oh, <laughs> I'm using I'm using the limo one. So I could take those. And then simply do this. And put that as the other one. Link this to oh. you. Oh no. Almost. Almost. Link that to that. Like that. So I can now see that this is part of this Lumo oh, um, Lumo web. So actually, I can do that, can't I? I can literally press Alt and move things around. So I can see this is connected to these. Which is connected to uh, this here, this gate. And it goes. I step on this, activates the delays, so then the the stream is kind of you know bright and is ongoing into this. But I also need to step onto this one to go into this as well to create that dual signal, the AB that we saw, which will then activate this delay, which will open this gate for ten seconds. <sighs> right, it sounds complicated, but it's really not. As you can see here, if I just hide these away, all I literally do is step on this. It activates so as you can see there, it counts down for a second. Step on these, it opens up and I walk through. Now imagine, right, you have an entire race with things like that. With things that are all kind of linked up that involve pressure plates high up, down below. In fact, if you make a co-op race that we need two people that work together, they have to step on plates to like help each other open gates to progress forward. There is a lot of potential with this and this is just the first kind of run at it. So. Yeah, there's a lot you can do with Lumo Stone. Don't don't be fooled by just thinking, oh well, there's only like you know a few things. So those few things open up so many possibilities, and you're limited more or less by your own creativity. And let's say on the island I showed you a second ago, uh, which will eventually get made properly, hopefully. You'll see some hopefully some really good examples that me and some of the VIPs will be creating and showing off, and they can they can inspire you to create things. But this. Honestly, it does open up a lot of things. And even in PvP islands, right? If you want to create like really cool arenas that have a lot of crumbling blocks, so you're worried about where you're running across, like you're, you're in a fight, you're trying to get away, and all of a sudden you've entered into a room that's just filled with crumbling blocks. You could run away to get away. All the blocks would crumble away, and the person chasing you would be stuck. They'd have to wait for them to reform. You know, there's there's like there's a there's a lot of possibilities, guys, and I'm really excited to show it off this. So, in fact, everything in Alpha Alpha 9 is it's really, really good. I, yeah. It's really, oh, also you can press Alt to click things there as well. Oh yeah, I made all these all these traps. So, oh yeah, I did make all these traps, didn't I? Yeah, so I'll just put all these down so you can get a better idea. These Now with these uh, turret things, they will just automatically fire when they see something in front of them. Like for example, right now, they can see that chicken. So they're firing. So if I walk in front of these, oh, I'll just fly. Uh, these will start firing because they're not linked to anything so they'll just fire when they detect so you don't even need to link these up uh, with the lumo web you could just leave them like that but of course you also have the option to just you know link them to pressure plates so uh, you know a win nice and easy oh. yeah. and what you can also do as well with the delays and these, you can get them so they fire in bursts, which is crazy. So you can see they all fire at once. So there is a lot, a lot you can do with the Lumo Stone. And of course, as we progress uh, forward through Alpha 9, uh, you know, we'll probably be looking to add you know, different types of things here and there. Uh, some people may have already seen a, a little tiny sneak peek of those, not that you're allowed to say what they were. Uh, for ideas that we had, but certainly what we would like as well for this is suggestions and feedback because you know it's great that we're great this Lumo stone system, but we want you guys to be able to use it the creativity. You're like, so you've got this, you're like, you know what would be really good? Like, some kind of I don't know, uh, uh, like a trap, right? That it pops up and it like just fires a load of fire and it goes everywhere. You know, like fire just spits out everywhere, or maybe like a huge, like pendulum swinging choppy thing that like just jump, 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 jump. you know, things like that. Or maybe you want, I don't know, maybe <laughs> I don't know, you know, you 
I don't know what, what you guys can suggest, but I'm sure some of you guys will definitely come with things. And a lot of you will have a lot of fun with this because there really is just so much you can do with it. Now I will. Uh, if you guys have any questions, by the way, guys, do ask now because this is basically the end of the stream, and there's still a ton. Of, there's li the, an hour wasn't long enough to show you guys everything. Like there's so much more with the quests. There's all the different types of armors and weapons which I can't get to just yet to show you guys because I have to progress through all the things to get there. Uh, you can see that all the Lumo Stone, different ways you can use it. The fact that you could, you, we saw where you get the race uh, item machine to create race and PvP from capture back in the uh, in the City of First Light. I just and the City of First Light's are new and you know of course there's oh also yeah your your, your profile's changed so it's now that. Yeah, you do have a look at that yourself at some point. But also, you have got chicken hats, you got Oculus hats, you got top hats. You know, there's like some cool things. Oh, actually, do I have um, do I have my cool fancy doublet? Uh, oh yeah, there it is. So I have my cool fancy doublet as well. It's not just my Oculus. Oh, wait, where did I do it? What did I just do with that? Oh, I put it in the chest. Because I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. I meant to equip it. So of course you got this cool, you know, doublet there. See so yeah, how how cool do I look there? If I, you know, I'm screenshotting that. Uh. All right. Well, because we're all done here, guys. Uh, I am gonna call the end of the stream. I hope you really enjoyed this, guys. There is. There's still so much more to show in Alpha 9. It's like, I, I can't even show you everything because I just don't have the time to. You know, the stream's over. But you can see there's a ton of stuff that you guys can jump into and try out. Just from like the home island being different, the, you know, the tutorial being different, everything just, just being better and new systems and new stuff. And of course, feedback is always welcome, guys. We absolutely love feedback. So when Alpha 9 comes up, do hit us on the forum with the feedback as well. All right, now, just before I go, I will say you'll notice in the channel feedback, we do have the build-off, uh, sorry, the build-off, the big build event tomorrow, which is the community one, uh, which is going to be super fun. It's waterworks. Now, waterworks just means anything that's kind of water-themed, so you could build, I don't know, like a boat, you know, a Loch Ness monster. You could build, I don't know, like a, a giant wave of water. I don't know. You could literally build a, a water elemental or something. I don't know. It's up to you. It really is. And that's um, 12 till 4, uh, you see plus 1. And all details you can find below, just below in the channel feed, uh, and then on that forum. Alright, uh, where's the forum, Crow Sato? Uh, just literally down below is the big button that says forum. <laughs> just click it, it takes you straight there. Alright, so yes, uh, this is the end guys, and I will see you all next time. So goodbye, and I hope you enjoyed this look into Alpha 9. Alpha 9! <laughs>